YouTube land. There's a video I've been wanting to do for quite a long time that may or may not help some of you out there and give you a little idea on how to clean your fuel injectors just a little bit better than you can do by just running carb cleaner or injector cleaner through the fuel tank. I've got a set of injectors for the FTO. What I'm going to be doing is taking off all the seals, replacing them and the filters and then cleaning them out as best I can with a few rudimentary tools. Cheap, cheap on a cheap, cheap. So I'm going to spin the camera around, excuse the kind of ad hoc setup. I've tried to make a little bit of a workbench here, but I'm going to film what I'm going to do and then I'll show you what the end result looks like. Okay, cats, right, so here's our little assortment. Six injectors, some new seals, I'll describe them in a second. Here I've got a bit of brake cleaner. I should really be using carb cleaner, but it's all I've got, so it'll do. This is a little device, which you're going to see used in a minute, that connects the brake cleaner here to the fuel injector here. This is just a couple of pipes, basically, super glued together and taped up so it doesn't leak, with an old would you call it a tyre valve, with the gubbins taken out the inside of it. So it's basically just a tube, this, but it's got a nice rubbery end, which fits lovely on that end of the injector. And then when I go the O-ring off, on the other end as well. We're going to need a hammer, just a light hammer to tap in the new filters. We need a big screw to grab onto the old filter. Screwdriver, there's a battery down off camera, and then we've got this little device, but I'll come back to that in a second. So I'm going to pop that out of the way for now. The basic principle is you want to strip down the old injectors first and then once you get them stripped down we can clean them out. This is the old injector, I've actually taken the filter out of that one already so I'll start with this one then I'll just show you this one, I'm, I'm not going to repeat every one. So in here, we've not got a seal in the bottom, that's in the intake manifold already. This seal here is like a rubber buffer that sort of spaces out the fuel rail which is held in by the o-ring that you can see here. If I point to this with the screw it's probably easier. So this o-ring is what seals the injector in the rail and then this is more like a rubber spacer. These are very perished on these injectors so uh, they don't do a lot but you know it'd be good to get a shot of them. Obviously the injector seal wants to go and then the most important bit is the filter basket. It's the bit no one ever tells you about. So in there is a little tiny filter. In the new injector pack here you can actually see this is one here. Pop it out for you to have a little look at it. Hopefully you can make that out on camera quite nicely. So that there is a little metal collar at the bottom with a sort of plastic framework and then a very, very fine mesh filter. And that is, you know, your final defence after your fuel filter to stop any crud getting into the injector tip, which if you've ever taken a fuel injector out, you'll see these are bloody tiny, the holes in the end of these. So any varnished thick fuel that manages to make it past there is going to gum that up and cause you grief. I would say it's not the sort of job you want to do regularly. But if you're like Natalie and I and you're complete car freaks, these, obviously, if you watch the channel, you know we take the FTO to the racetrack. And we want to try and give it the best chance. Now, I think her current injectors are leaking. And that leaking happens when some shit gets in this end here. And the solenoid itself can't work effectively, so it can't shut off the valve to the end. So you get a leak. So I'm going to try and refurbish these real basic style, put them together, and then see what happens. So first port of call is to get this little spacer off. We'll get them off, we'll show you how perished he is. You can see how cracked and nasty it looks. As I said, it's just a spacer, it doesn't do very much, but it's going to be changed anyway. Obviously, we've not got the seal on the bottom. O-ring off, I'm not even going to waste my time mucking around with it, I'm just going to chop it. Right, little trick for getting the filter out. The filter, as you can see, it's good to have a new one so you can compare what you're playing with because when you look in the ends of these, it's actually difficult to determine which is what bit's what. So in here, if you can see that in the end there, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out in camera, but in this tip here, this first ring is the metal ring at the bottom of the, at the top of the filter and then the outside of it is the actual fuel injector itself. What we need to do is we need to get that filter basket out and the easiest way I've found to do that is get a screw that's almost as wide as that, that opening there and you know basically start the screw off and don't go too crazy. I'm using a screw that's way too big here guys so just bear that in mind. Just get it in as much as you dare and you need to grab something that you can pull it out with. So I've just got a pair of a uh, pair of pliers here and I'm gonna just tighten them up. That obviously will hold on to that. I'm gonna give it a wrench and hopefully it will pull the basket out just like that. There you go. So looks like I've pulled that one out relatively cleanly, thankfully. So that is your little filter. What they look like. Well, okay, before I take it off, because I don't want to damage it, I want to try and show you what we've got here. So that's your new one, and that's your 25-year-old one or whatever it is. 1994, yeah, 26 years old this car was. Never been changed, gonna go in the bin. You can see why I wanna get rid of it. I'm just gonna have a quick look at it in detail. To be fair to this, it's pretty clean. 
uh, it doesn't look like it wants to split or perish very easily so that's remarkably good thank you very much Bosch these these injectors are Bosch injectors they are 0280-155-720. Uh, go and try and find some information on that, because I'll be buggered if I can. I can find information on the 721s and the 719s, I think, but not the 720s. They, I think, are only used in Legnums and Galants and FTOs. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know more about that than me, stick it down in the comments. I'd love to know about it, because I don't know enough. So unscrew your screw. Oh. Don't drop your filter on the floor if you can help it, so you can show the people in the world what you're playing with. So there's your old filter, and now that's basically your, it's all you can really strip down. So down inside there is your delicate gubbins for how the actual fuel injector works. And the process is pretty simple, you know. I want to take the new filter, I want to stick them in, old and new. Slightly different, but they all do the same job. But before I do that, I want to give it a clean out. So I'm going to put everything to the side. I'm only going to do this with one, there's no point in me showing you with all six injectors, all the same bloody thing. So. What we've got, we've got our little tyre valve. I'm going to start off, first of all, by squeezing this on the end of the fuel injector. It's really tight, which is what you want. Squeeze on there nice and tight. And I'm going to connect this up to my proprietary cleaning product, whatever that may be. And then I need to power up the injector. So what I've got is I've got this horrific looking little tool. It has two injector wirings on it. But what you basically got here, if I try and sort this out so you can see what we're playing with. I have... A ground here and a positive here and the positive is connected in series to this little non-latching switch which is then connected to the positive side of the fuel injector terminal and the negative just goes straight down to the negative of the battery so this is just robbed off another FTO clip that onto there and then what I've got to do I've got a little battery down here beside me it's a car battery but it's kind of half discharged so it's running at about 9 volts I want to get this what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative and you should be able to hear the injector click if I can get the camera anywhere near it so this could be a bit bloody tricky here tell you what let's have a little clean up I'll get the other ones out of the way right then a little bit of re-angling so we are negative on the green one so we'll put the positive on first because it's always clever to do that positive on the battery pole negative over here right I'm going to try and get my mic and hopefully if I grab my little button you'll hear the injector click here okay so now I know that I've got that working its function all I'm going to do is pressurize the back of the injector with the brake cleaner and open and shut the valve repeatedly so you should see fluid come pissing out the end right so give a little bit of pressure Oh, and it pops straight off. <laughs> Too much pressure. Okay, so let's try that again. How about that? And we'll release. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. One squeeze. I get a nice jet coming out the end of that one there. I don't know if you can actually make that out on camera. Hopefully you can. Right, and then what I'm going to do, just for good measure, is pull it off the end of that, and we'll go the other way as well. So I'll stick it on the back end of the nozzle, and kind of back flush it. Have a fire extinguisher need near you. This is all flammable shit, you don't want it going on fire, you've got sparks next to you. Not, not completely safe, let's say, but you know, think about what you're doing. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that one. All I'm going to do now is rinse and repeat with the rest and then we'll start rebuilding them. Just want to see if I can catch the spray pattern here and see if it changes at all. Uh, get it down near the wood. See what this looks like. Okay. So hopefully you can see if there's an improvement there. I can barely tell from where I'm sat, but I'm happy that it looks like it's cleaning it up. Certainly better than just running car cleaner through the car. Okay, so that's all six of them done. Uh, I'll give them a quick wipe with a baby wipe, believe it or not, because it seems to work quite well just to just clean up bodies a little bit. But I mean, you don't go mad, man. I mean, you see it's still pretty dirty. So let's put them back together. The only bit, really, that takes any thinking about is putting this filter back in. So as you can see, I have a very light hammer here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the filter in as far as I can. Go and make sure it's dead straight. 
Now I'm on wood here and that's quite important. I'm going to put the tip of the injector down and I'm going to just tap it in real lightly. For God's sake, whatever you do, don't do this on metal surface or anything that can damage the tip of the injector. So a nice wooden surface, keep it nice and straight. Tap it in until you hear the whack and that's done, all right? Next one, so on a flat surface, keep it nice and flat. A few taps and it's in. Nothing heroic, no craziness. Nice and gentle, on a bit of wood, keep it nice and flat. You can hear the hammer tap as I hit the metal and it bottoms out. It needs to be flush with the top of the injector, guys. So there we go, in, a few taps. There we go, and then we've got a couple more. With the kit we bought from Master Injector, there you go, there's their details there. Master Injector at gmail.co.uk, uh, sorry. Master Injector UK at gmail.com at seal kit 29. Uh, I think these were listed as Galant or Lignum Injector seals. Same injector though, guys. So the only problem is that they come in packs of four for that kit, so you've got to buy two of them. And they're not that cheap, but you only have to do this once in your life, I would have thought. So flat down, in, and then in. And then the last couple of bits are just the case sticking your o-rings on, your little seals and your little spacers. So let's put the spacers on first. So they just go straight over here. These are nice and tight. It's quite a nice kit this. They've done quite a good job of it I think. So I'm just working that on. Oh, she will go. There she is. Shove that down and then we're going to have a little spacer at the bottom. Now these, in reality, these are going to be in the intake manifold. So I'm just, I'm just setting them on purely for the video purpose here. Let's quickly pop them on the rest of them whilst we've got them out so we don't lose them. Little top tip for you, when you put the injectors back in the car, get some red rubber grease, rub it around the injectors, round the o-ring. It'll make the o-ring seat better, it'll make the o-ring go into the fuel rail better. There's no reason not to lube it up. Make sure you lube it up. Don't fuck around with the dry o-ring, man. Okay, so we are nearing completion of the task. Now, I've been out here filming this, it's only take me about an hour, maybe, and I'm filming and stopping at the same time. So, there you have six Mitsubishi F2 fuel injectors, mildly refurbished. We're not, we're not checking flow and all the rest of it, but as I said, it's better than doing carb cleaner job. Let's just recap a little bit, shall we? Fucking hell. Fuel injector refurb, basic steps. Get yourself a little set up with a fuel injector tail, uh, what do you call it, a pigtail from an old fuel injector. Some wires, a battery, preferably 9 volts. Try not to go with 12. I'm not actually hurting an injector using 12 yet, but ho-hum. Get yourself a seal kit, number 29 from masterinjector.co.uk or .com. Yeah, .com. Follow my steps. Be careful, okay? It's flammable stuff. Have a fire extinguisher near you or a bucket of water. Don't be stupid. Do it somewhere where you're not going to get shit everywhere. Make yourself a little table like I have. Back flush them. Flush them the first way. Stick all the new filters in. They will be better than they were after 20 years. I'm not saying they're going to flow all perfectly and everything's going to be magic because that costs money and it costs special tools. But this is a nice quick way you can give them a little refresh. Hopefully that encourages you to go on off and give this a try. Criticise what I've done down in the comments because I'm sure you will. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how we all learn. But there we go. Little fuel injector refurb. As I said, guys, stay safe, lube your rings, and enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching. Pay more out.